So how many of you have used Google, have used Google? Okay, good, good. I went to Google Trends and I typed in shocks and Nike shocks. And what I found is that Google Trend or Google is saying that shocks is searched for more often than Nike shocks. Welcome to SEO. Just a bunch of bad data for you to try to make a good decision on. But what this kept me from doing was immediately going, okay, I need to totally go down this path. So I said, let me try another tool to see if maybe Google's data is not coming back correctly. So the third tool I used was one from MSN Ad Labs. Have any of you ever used some of their tools? Their tools are actually really good. I'm gonna go out to them because I didn't see a lot of you raise your hands. So I wanna show you how they kind of work. Um, but you'll notice, once again, Google or MSN confirmed that, yeah, there is a huge difference between Nike shocks and shocks. So it gives me a little bit more confidence to target the word Nike shocks instead of just shocks. Because I think Google's data might be a little bit off there. I know it's bad to say that they might be a little bit off, but I think, I think it might be a little bit off. And using MSN and Yahoo as reliable sources can be tough too. But, um, but I think this is the, best, the next best thing. So let's go out to um, AdLab. If I type in the word seal, there's married to Heidi Klum, lucky guy, sing song seal. And then there is like, you know, go to the San Francisco Zoo seal. And Google's trying to figure out, you know, using personalized search, which one you're searching for. But I think that still has a ways to go. This tool here will give you a better idea for the intent before and after somebody searches for a keyword. So you can do outgoing or you can do incoming and click go. The one thing that's nice is you can drop this out into Excel. So if it does have enough data, you can start to, uh, to take a look at what's, um, what it's doing and kind of use a different tool to parse the data up. You can do more than five. You can do, I've done up to 10. And then what's kind of neat is you can also click into them like eBay, I believe. Now, sometimes these tools make a liar out of you when you use them live. And this one, there you go. So once I clicked on eBay, now it's saying for eBay, 1.4 people search for AOL. This may search for Hotmail, PayPal, eBay.com, MSN. And then you got another eBay link that's there because I probably double clicked it. Sometimes you double click, sometimes you don't. Uh, you know MSN. And so since I double clicked, now it showed two copies of the same thing. But I think you get the idea. It's a great tool to understand intent which is very difficult to do with a search box and a keyword. And then what I wanted to show you was how some people have jumped into the space and created websites to address this issue. Pickyourshoes.com. How many of you have heard of pickyourshoes.com? Good, there's actually one. Nice. Cool. Okay, um, I don't know these guys, um, but they were one of the first, they were the second result to show up right behind Nike for the word Nike Air Max, okay? So their URLs, which I don't know if you can see clearly from the back of the room, but their URLs are well formatted. They have direct links to the Nike right from the homepage. For some reason they did not have their uh, logo clickable, so it frustrated the heck out of me that I couldn't get back to the homepage. And then they have PayPal as their uh, PayPal certifications or icons. When I went to the subpage on Nike shoes, wow, I got nothing but Nike shoes. The page rank flowed through fine. Um, the URL is formatted in a way that doesn't have a bunch of question marks and equals like typical e-commerce sites do. As a result, they're ranking in the second spot. Pickyourshoes.com is ranking in the second spot for the word Nike Air Max. You know, Foot Locker, all the stores you see in the mall that make millions, none of them are showing up. I think there's an issue with this site though. And I know we're here to talk about SEO, but really what we're talking about is SEO as a means to drive traffic to your site for you to get sales, right? That's why we're all here. So I think there's issues with this site though. It doesn't exactly exude confidence. You have a PayPal checkout. When I shop at Amazon, when I shop at Target, when I shop at um, any other website, I don't have to go through PayPal. Like they can afford to have a real e-commerce system that I'm on their site the entire time. That starts to erode my confidence. So they're ranking well and that's great. But I think if they took some other steps to get more people to convert, they would get a lot more from the same exact ranking. 